Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be looking at probably one of the most overlooked new features that we have access to now in the Isle of Armour. So without further ado, let's get into it. So before we get into this video today, just a quick reminder for all of you, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button to get any updates when these videos drop. And if you enjoy getting involved online and a bit more interactive, I do stream over on Twitch three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. UTC time, which is British Standard Time. Come over, join us. The link to our Twitch channel is down in the description and if you've just got the isle of armor you're playing through it and you've got any questions about certain new facilities that are available within the isle of armor now we are covering all of this content here on the channel so do check out some of our other videos done them on evolving glarian slow bro how to get gmax blastoise and gmax venusaur how to find the ev remover so we've got some amazing facilities we've covered a lot of things already in the isle of armor and we've got a lot more to come now, one of my biggest gripes over the years of being a Pokemon player is the fact that we spend so much time in the current generation that we're, we're in breeding, training up Pokemon, catching shinies, completing Pokedexes, only for a new generation to come out. And it's exciting and everything, but we can't ever really use the old Pokemon that we obtained in the previous games on competitive play and online tournaments and things like that because they don't have a regional mark and they always do this precaution put a regional mark on and they are legal so all the old pokemon even though we can transfer them to pokemon home and then transfer them into a new game we can't actually use them so we can't use our favorite pokemon from previous generations and it's just something that i think is a little bit of a gripe of mine and i've always had it niggling away in the back of my mind with pokemon games because you you never really think a new generation comes out you think oh i've got to catch that pokemon again to use it online to breed it up put it in a new team and i really just would like to use that kingdra that i caught in hot gold and sold silver because it did so well for me in the battles that i i played back then and that's just an example but now with the isle of armor we actually have a facility and i really do heap the praise on pokemon for this because this is an, a long time coming and i think a really really great facility that we have access to now where we can take all transferred pokemon bring them to sword and shield and then make them legal for ranked battles so in this video we're going to show you exactly how you can do it it's going to be a short one but a really important one and one i would love to make everyone in the community aware of it will save people a bunch of time as well as allowing a lot of trainers just to use those favorite pokemon that they have from previous generations so let's hop into the game and have a look at how we do this so the first step that you want to do is obviously come over to pokemon home uh, for players that don't have pokemon home there is a 30-day free trial that you can use and access this this uh, this app and uh, you can get it on mobile and you can get it on your switch so you want to get it on your switch if you don't want to pay for it obviously just try trial it uh, and transfer all the pokemon you need over to pokemon sword and shield and that will work just fine and it's probably a good time to do a free trial of pokemon home because of the current zero aura event that is running in the wild area so the current max raid event that is running if 1 million trainers beat zero aura in the current event by the 28th of june then everyone who has participated and has a copy of pokemon home will get a shiny zero aura so it's another reason to get pokemon home right now as well as obviously planning ahead for the future get all these pokemon transferred in using this method so we're in the game we're going over to pokemon home you want to connect to your current copy of the game that you you're in um obviously you will have to transfer pokemon from previous generations into pokemon home prior to doing this but i've already done this so for the example in the video here you can just see i'm going through my boxes just looking for the pokemon that are currently legal within sword and shield and the isle of armor so they have to be in the galar pokedex or the isle of armor pokedex to to actually move to the game so things like talon flame low punny porygon that are now accessible in the isle of armor you can transfer over into your sword and shield copy so once you've transferred everything from pokemon home to pokemon sword and shield you want to come back into sword and shield and then you want to be 
heading up to wind and battle tower now once you're in wind and battle tower you'll enter and you look right to the back of the room there'll be a new npc character there and he will say do you have pokemon from other regions that you would like to have participate in ranked battles so this is what you need to do is just click on yes find the new po the pokemon that you've transferred over say for this example we will use talonflame and um, we'll select talonflame and your telephone will need to forget all of its moves it knows to learn the new ones it can and make it legal within ranked battles so is that okay with us we say yes he takes talent flame away magically removes all the, the previous moves that aren't now legal in sword and shield and now talent flame is going to be legal to use in ranked battles another example here we use the volcarona like none of these pokemon here have illegal moves on them right now so this will work on pokemon that have moves that aren't in sword and shield and moves that are in sword and shield and we'll do one final example as well i do have a Trakian that i did transfer over when pokemon home was released now this Trakian i have from actually my heart gold and soul silver copy uh from a long time ago so this is a, a really really nice moment to be able to make my Terrakion legal and you can check these Pokemon uh, are legal to use in ranked battles by going on the summary screen in the home option and you'll see where the regional mark is there is a tiny little new mark which is like a, a kind of a star with half black and half white and that mark will now indicate that this Pokemon is legal to use in ranked battles in Sword and Shield which is a huge game changer. Now with all the new Pokemon introduced in the Isle of Armor you're not going to have to go out and catch um, a new horsey uh, or a new Politoed or a new Volcarona you can literally get the ones from your old game transfer them into Pokemon Home transfer them into Pokemon Sword and Shield come to this guy it might be a little bit time consuming because you're going to have to go through each one but it is definitely quicker than breeding and catching these new Pokemon training them up spending a lot of resources getting them team and battle ready when you can just use your old Pokemon that have served you so well in the past and that is just such an amazing facility i feel so that wraps up the episode my friends i think things that i would like to just make sure i reiterate before we end the video is that obviously the pokemon that you are transferring over that can be legal in competitive play are, are subject to the current rule set obviously we have series 5 rules updating on july the 1st which allows all of these pokemon to be used within online play um the other thing is if they aren't in the galar pokedex or the isle of armor pokedex then you won't be able to transfer them into sword and shield just yet we will have to wait for further updates along the line with crown tundra and anything past that date so um i hope this video you have found useful. I'm sure it will be a huge time saver for you all. Um, if you know other competitive players that aren't aware about this method, please share this video around, make them aware of this facility and so they can save some time as well. And um, I'm sure it will be useful to every single person that does see it and can use this method. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, as always, please do drop a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. It lets me know that you enjoy the sort of content and you want to see more of it. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe as well because we do these guides. We do competitive play. We do Pokemon news updates. We do everything related to Pokemon and um, we just have a good time doing it. So thank you so much for tuning in. As always, my friends, have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves be kind to each other and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye